Hello, I'm Desmond Zemmett, the proud principal of Gorakin Public School. Thanks for joining us for today's school orientation session in which we will provide detailed information about support for learning and engagement at our great school. My co-presenter today is Shauna Crook, Deputy Principal Wellbeing. Welcome, Shauna. Thank you, Jess. I would firstly like to say welcome to Gorakin Public School. I believe that it is a true privilege to work at this school and an honour to support your child and your whole family as they start their learning journey. The major part of my role is the Learning and Support Team Coordinator. You might hear the term LST, which is just an abbreviation for Learning and Support Team. We teachers like to use an acronyms or short ways of saying things, so there might be a few of them mentioned today. I'll do my best to explain them as they come up. Thanks, Lorna. The school's learning and support team has a vital role within the school to monitor and support the learning, well-being and social development of all students across the school from kindergarten to year six. The team itself is made up of school-based experts in the fields of learning, behaviour and supporting students with a range of additional needs. Our core team consists of myself, the deputy principals, the school counsellor and our instructional leaders. Other staff from across the school join the team when required if they have specific skills or experience in a field that would support an individual child. We also collaborate with medical and health professionals as well as family members when beneficial to the outcomes of our students. Please be reassured that all members have a wealth of experience and talents that can be used to support your child should they have any additional needs. All kindergarten classes are provided with additional support, having teacher's aides working in the classroom to provide extra one-on-one -on -one support for students, enabling them to receive support in the classroom playground while they're learning all about big school. There are many ways in which we provide additional support for students on a daily basis. We have a learning support team of teachers. We also have English as a second language instruction as well as NDIS external providers, teachers' aides in the playground and in the classrooms, and out-of-home care students are catered for within the learning support team role. So let's think about students with additional needs. How do you know if your child has additional learning needs? All children develop at different rates, so they will not arrive at school with the same set of skills. Talk to your child's preschool teacher doctors and other professionals that are involved with your family and be guided by their ideas. Students with additional learning needs can include those with the following characteristics. Autism spectrum disorder, learning, behaviour, attention deficit, sensory, vision and hearing. Some of the school-based adjustments that the learning support team can provide to assist your child include a teacher's aide to support their learning and behaviour in the classroom or playground, learning and support teachers to support your child's learning in the classroom, team teaching with a teacher, perhaps working one-on-one -on -one with your child or writing individual programs. We also have sensory equipment to maintain children's attention and support them to organise information that's being presented, weighted blankets, vibrating cushions, movement breaks, fidget supports, modified programs. For children on the autism spectrum, we use timers and other practical activities and adjustments. We also have a range of resources and special strategies and equipment to deal with the needs of children with dyslexia. Our school counsellor is Justin Sims. He is an educational psychologist and it is his role to work with medical and health professionals and families to confirm a range of learning, behavioural, social and physical disabilities. He has the ability to complete IQ assessments where required and provides vital information to paediatricians to assist them with diagnoses and treatment for our students. In some cases, more intensive support for your child may be required. In this case, we will work with Justin Sims to complete an application that is presented at a district level where a team of experts in the field of disability place students where there's an availability. If you go down this road and your child requires this extra support, Justin will need to have access to all of your latest reports, including from the following people. 
paediatrician, speech therapist, occupational therapist, hearing and vision reports. These reports are then used to assess your child's suitability for a special class placement or for additional funding to support them at school. The learning and support team also monitors student attendance as it is a vital part of the successful engagement of students in school. Students are expected to attend school every day. In the event that your child is absent, the school will send an SMS to inform you of the absence and this will allow you an easy way to provide a reason for the absence, which will be logged on the school's database. When students are away for three days or more, a doctor's certificate is required. We can't stress enough the importance of regular school attendance for every single child. Did you know that if a student was away one day each fortnight, by the end of year 12, they will have missed a whole year and a half of school? Thanks for joining Mrs Crook and I for today's Kindergarten Orientation Information Session on supporting students with additional needs. We understand that we've covered a lot of ground and we certainly don't expect you to have taken everything in. We do hope that you have taken away the following key messages. That students with additional needs are known, valued, cared for and supported. That we have skilled and specialised staff to support students that we have systems to strategically assist students, including those with additional or special needs, and that consistent and regular attendance is critically important for all students. We hope that you found this presentation useful and informative, and we look forward to sharing our next transition video with you, in which we'll share information on teaching and learning at Gorakin Public School. Together, we can make a difference.